Hey guys, happy Friday, the beginning of Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully everyone's going out to do something fun. I'm just going to do a quick little video here on something that we get asked a lot, something we've taught our apprentices for a while now. It's in our training program. But I don't know if you've ever heard about backstabbed outlets. Uh, really, we're talking about the proper and improper way to terminate a receptacle. Simple receptacle. Every receptacle has contacts. You have your copper-colored contacts and your silver-colored contacts. There's also these four holes in the back. Now, if you notice that uh, you take a plug out in your house, pull it out, and look at the wires, and they're what's called backstabbed in these holes, that is improper. That's not quality craftsmanship uh, by any electrical standard that I know. It's legal. They sell them. They still make them. I'm not sure why. I will show you the difference. Here is the proper way to land. Obviously, those of you who have used strip before, uh, you find the right gauge, you strip out what you need to know more. These little holes on your stripper, guess what they're for? They're to make hooks on your wire. You take that hook, this is obviously the power side, you go on the copper colored contact and you go around clockwise. If I can get it on there. Now, do you have any idea why you go around clockwise? I'm gonna take my handy flathead. Everybody loves a flathead, right? We use a flathead because it gets it tighter. You use a Phillips or a drill, it one, it strips the contact, and two, a Phillips is not gonna get tight enough. You can't get enough pressure. It'll actually slip a little bit. So what I actually teach our guys to do is, once you hook that wire on there, you're gonna take your strippers and you're gonna close that loop. If I can get it there. Now, even if I forget to tighten it, it's not coming off. It's hooked on there. So now you take your flathead, not your Phillips, and tighten it down. And with this flathead, I can get this screw really tight. In fact, I can break it. I used to when I was learning how to do it. You got that thing so tight, it ain't ever coming off. This plug's going to break before it ever comes loose. That is the proper way to terminate a wire on a receptacle. A lazy way, an improper way, is to strip it and backstab it in one of these holes. Just push it in there, see how easily that went in? Now, I'm not going to do it now, but I can just rip this thing out, actually. It's already coming out, you see? It's already a bad connection. That's how quickly it's a bad connection. So, if you can imagine a house over 30 years, everybody stomping around the floor, the door getting slammed. I'm sure you've never had a fight in your house and had somebody slam the door, right? Every time that happens, this wiggles, and it actually starts coming out. So, look at that. I just barely wiggle it, and it's halfway out. So, if you can imagine... How many devices do you have in your house? Anybody know? I'd say an average home has about 40 to 50 devices in it. So 40 or 50 fire hazards coming loose every single time somebody wiggles it. It's almost out. So I would say check your devices if you feel safe enough to pull one out of the wall. If they're backstabbed and you feel comfortable shutting the power off and wrapping around the terminal, please do it. If not, give us a call, give somebody else a call and get it done. It's a simple way to make your house a lot safer. And it won't cost you anything if you feel comfortable doing it. And it doesn't cost that much to pay someone to do it. So, hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. If you're going boating, make sure to stay on the boat. And we'll see you Tuesday, right? Have a good weekend.